What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Feel the Spirit and I hope you've been feeling the spirit lately. Today I'm going to be talking about how to practice and become a better bow hunter and a better archer. So I had a big revelation recently in my shooting and in my whole archery research that goes on in my head constantly. Um, I came up with, well, I figured out the problem and I was just too stubborn to acknowledge it, I should say. Um, but I would come out here and shoot for like two or three hours at a time. And I would only shoot like 30 good, I don't want to shoot good shots like 30 to 35% of the time. What the problem was is I don't have anything other than hunting weight bows. I have nothing under, I have most bows I have are at 50 pounds, but I only, I draw under 28 inches. So most of the time it's around 47 pounds. As my muscles get fatigued, I shoot, it's shooting just goes and I start doing weird things. And instead of being like, okay, I, my muscles are tired. This is happening because my muscles are tired. I disregard that. And then I try to fix it whenever I don't really need to fix it. So as my muscles get fatigued, I genuinely just start making horrible shots. And instead of acknowledging it being the fact that I am getting tired and setting down the bow, I try to fix whatever happened wrong right then and there and try to make a better shot. And then I'm like, okay, as soon as I start making a good shot, I'm gonna go back inside and I'll make a good shot and then I wanna shoot for another hour. Eventually I realized that most of my problems come come from just muscle fatigue. I shot a 45 pound bow the other last week at the bow shop and noticed a huge difference between the five pounds. Um, I could hold the 45 pound bow back all day long and with a 50 pound, you know, 10 seconds and I'm, I'm shaking, but with that 45 pound, I could hold it back for 30 to 45 seconds and I still don't shake. When it comes to shooting and practicing, every bad shot you make, you're kind of messing yourself up and you're setting yourself up for failure. And what you really want to be doing is making good shots constantly, no matter what you're doing, no matter if you're practicing shooting in different hunting positions, if you're practicing shooting off the ground, if you're practicing shooting laying on your back, out of a tree it doesn't matter you need to be doing you need to be doing what you're going to be doing in the field and in the woods or what you're going to be doing at the 3d shoot or at the target range and you need to be doing it consistently good yeah we're gonna make bad shots i'm not a computer i'm not a robot you know i can't just pull back the bow the same every single time and make the same shot with the same release um, but what i can do is capitalize on making mistakes and learning from them, knowing when to stop. If you want to just shoot around, which of course the fun part is just shooting around, right? Everybody just likes to shoot, but practicing is a different thing. And a lot of people don't like to practice because practice is like work, right? Um, it's fun, but it's, it's usually something that you don't actually want to be doing. You want to be like blank bailing is not fun in my opinion. But if I feel like I have something wrong in my form, then to be able to shoot instinctively, I have to blank bail to fix things in my form because if I don't, then I have no clue where my shot's gonna go because I take my focus off of where I wanna hit. Here recently, I've been downing the amount of arrows I shoot every time I go out to about 25 arrows. And it seems to be that from after the first few shots, once I've really got warmed up, my muscles have got warmed up and everything feels smoother. Um, from that point to about, from that point to about the 25th arrow, I'm still shooting good. And that gives me time to stop while I'm shooting good and have time to rest and even sleep on that program that I was shooting when I shot the good shots. And then over time, all those good habits start to just be programmed in you. And then subconsciously or instinctively, you're just gonna be doing them no matter what. And then you don't really even have to go through a shot consciously. So there's a lot of different ways to practice, but that's the best thing that I can, that's the best advice that I can give you is when you start making bad shots, just put down the bow. I mean, it's the best thing you can do is just put down the bow say, okay, I made a couple bad shots. I need to come back to this later and start again. And 
by giving yourself time to relax and your muscle fatigue to go down you will come back out later or the next day and you will be shooting better than you did the day before and then when it comes to practicing for bow hunting shooting your hunting weight bow is the best thing you can do rather than shooting a lower weight bow um, right now i'm still kind of planking and choosing between which bow i want to hunt with this year and maybe if i want to get a different bow to hunt with this year this is my kenyu hybrid that i killed the eight pointer with a couple years ago um, it's a little 52 inch reflex deflex bow and it's absolutely beautiful and i got a new string for it from whispering bow strings if you haven't checked them out then you really need to because i get all my strings from there because i mean this is every string i've gotten has been super super quality and really it really takes the bow to a new level when you're bow hunting especially the closer you get to season how many times are you actually going to get a shot at a deer while you're standing up straight arrow not me standing here being able to have the time to square my feet to the target look at what i want to hit take my time and really roll through my shot right most of the time i'm not going to have time to do that i might have to or you know i might have to be at this angle or something and try to turn and make that shot at that angle and it's really hard to do that um unless you practice it one thing that i always enjoy doing is I'll go walk around the target and just shoot in random locations around the target off my knees through brush and one major thing that you really want to do is take your arrow set up with a heavier arrow you don't have to worry about this as much um, with a heavier arrow because I'm going to be bumping up to about a 600 grain arrow last year I shot 500 grain this year I kind of want to get up to that 600 grain range so I'm going to be running a 100 grain insert and a 200 grain broadhead um, and then I'll be running on this bow I'll have to run some 340 spines because these at cut to 27 inches which is only like a half an inch past my draw length cut to 27 inches the the 400s out of this bow are still flying weak and it's not even yeah it's not even cut the center so there I mean this bow's got some kick to it um, my bare ounce ball I'll have to get some 400s for um, rather than the 500s because the 500s are going to be too weak so I'm going to have to get more arrows and stuff for that and I'm just kind of plinking around and deciding what I want to do and what I want to hunt with but as it gets closer to season and you pick your arrow weight and broadheads find some grass find some tall grass or some kind of high stem count brush and try to shoot through it set your target up and try to shoot through it because that is i mean extremely vital to know how much brush you can shoot through with an arrow and how much grass you can shoot through because if i'm on if i'm stalking up on a deer and i come up to him and his vitals are behind some grass or maybe behind a couple little twigs or something i need to know how my arrow is going to react to going through there because if it's not going to go through there clean then i can't take that shot because i don't know what's going to happen but if i know like okay i have this certain amount of brush that i can shoot through and the arrow will pass through cleanly and once you know that when it comes time to make that shot you have the confidence to put that arrow where it needs to go and you know it's going to make it through there so taking shots like that and just shooting around will drastically improve your chances of killing deer or killing hogs bear or whatever you're going to end up shooting at um for me the first season that'll come in is probably bear we have a, here in virginia we have a three-day season the monday tuesday and wednesday in september before our bow season starts which is usually the first saturday of october um so the first thing i'll be shooting at is bear and in early season like that there's a lot of greenery out so if i have to shoot through some of that i need to know how much that my arrow can make it through so that i know i can make that shot when time comes if you really want to become a better archer and better bow hunter remember to shoot until you start making bad shots and then stop you really need if you want to shoot for longer shoot one arrow at a time go get it and be slow and mindful about everything you do and don't come out here and just shoot i've watched videos of people 
that are shooting and before the arrows even hit the target they're already reaching for their next one and knocking it and the arrow is just now impacting the target um it's really hard to shoot it's hard to shoot to your full potential there's people that can shoot good like that but it's hard to shoot to your full potential with not taking your time and being mindful with each arrow that you release and then if you're going to be a bow hunter practice how you hunt because you need to play like you practice or you need to practice like you play and not play like you practice because you're not going to get to play like you practice you're not going to get to stand up and take a perfect set your feet and have 25 to 30 seconds to make your shot and turn your feet make sure you're level make sure that you're straight up and down you're completely level with the target you're not shooting down or up you don't have time to do anything like that you have to make that shot and take and make everything of the opportunity but you have to be ready for the opportunity a bad shot for somebody else can be a good shot for me if i've practiced shooting behind my back so much that i can shoot a group like this at 30 yards from behind my back then that's a that would be a good shot to be a high percentage shot for somebody like that does something like that, that does something like that but if somebody doesn't practice but shooting straight up squared that would be a bad shot for them you have to the a high percentage shot and a low percentage shot differs from everybody from your level of experience and practice and if you don't practice taking that shot from the ground or from behind the tree or from i, I mean i've sat out here sometimes and i'll climb up on this bank behind me and shoot down into a target i'll go out here behind a tree draw and then stick out from behind the tree from standing up to being prone to crouch to shooting through brush and I do stuff like that all the time because it'll drastically improve your odds of being a successful hunter. You need to remember fatigue is a thing and you need to set the bow down and don't overdo it because every bad shot you make is, is going to make you worse, but every good shot you make is going to make you better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna throw the GoPro up on top of my head and I'm just going to shoot about 25 arrows. Um, these are kind of janky they're not tuned to the bow i'm i'm kind of running out of arrows i've broke a bunch of them i've hit them i've broke the ends of them i've hit them up towards here and it's ended up busting them so i've only got about four arrows right now and they're not tuned to this bow and one of them the fletching broke off so i can't promise everything's going to be perfect but what i can promise is that i'm only going to shoot about 25 shots and i probably won't shoot that many but i'm going to shoot about six or so or i'll shoot eight that will be two quiver fulls um i'll shoot eight from just standing back here and get kind of warmed up because i haven't shot yet and then i'll start going around and shooting from my knees or through the brush or something like that so that you can see what i'm doing so the first shots i'm going to do is just right here at 10 yards and i'm just going to shoot now i've shot a hole in the deer target and the arrows are starting to go through it so i'm going to shoot at the little uh, dice block target there and uh just uh shoot at that so my arrows don't go flying through it for right now but once i start moving around and shooting and practicing like bow hunting scenario i'm going to try to shoot at the buck and see if my arrows don't go flying through it so i won't be wearing the gopro until i start walking around but i just shoot all four arrows in the quiver So two high and two in the middle. I'll show you the group. So one in the bullseye, one just a little high, and then two really high. You'll have to excuse the subpar shooting for right now. It's been a while since I've shot this bow and these arrows are flying kind of wonky, but my bear ossible I'm waiting on a new string for and my bear polar um, I didn't have laying out beside my desk, so I just grabbed this one. Shot a little high on that last one. Shot a little skipped off the top of target. I'll show you the group again. So 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the GoPro up on top of my head and I'm going to take a few shots like through the grasses back here and like behind the tree and up on the bank shooting down and just show you kind of what I do as I get prepared for bow season. So as you could see there, that was, I think it would have been about 12, 15 shots, but one target or one practice session, I've got some extra stuff that I go through. We got some stuff that's growing up right here and I'll go in that and put the target out in the path and shoot at the target into the path, kind of sneaking behind and shooting through some of the grasses and stuff. So essentially, that's all I got for that. And that's how you can really become a better bow hunter. How you can become a better archer or a better bow hunter. And just be mindful of your practice and make sure you make good shots throughout your practice session and put yourself in situations that you'll be in during hunting season. But with that being said, thank the Lord for a beautiful day. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. And be on the watch for more. I try to post about two times a week and then deer season will be here shortly. Got the groundhog video coming up soon and other stuff that I want to get done coming up soon. So y'all check that out. And uh, with that being said, y'all keep film spirit.